in a tranquil Japanese village nestled among serene hills, there lived a revered Zen master named Hakuin. People from all walks of life sought his wisdom, drawn to the quiet sanctuary of his teachings. One day, a formidable samurai named Nobushige arrived in the village, his imposing presence catching the villagers' attention. He had heard of Hakuin's reputation and carried a weighty question about the existence of paradise and hell. Determined, Nobushige approached the venerable master. Is there truly a paradise and a hell? He asked, his voice tinged with uncertainty. Hakuin, sitting calmly in his modest dwelling, regarded Nobushige with a discerning gaze. Who are you? I am a samurai, Nobushige replied with a touch of pride. Hakuin sighed softly, seemingly unimpressed. A soldier like you? He exclaimed, wearing a quizzical expression. What ruler would have you as a guard? Your countenance resembles that of a beggar. Nobushige's heart burned with anger at the insult, and he drew his gleaming sword with swift intent. He was prepared to strike down the monk who had dared to provoke him. Unperturbed by the imminent threat, Hakuin continued with remarkable calmness. So you have a sword? He remarked casually. But I fear your weapon is too dull to sever my head. As Nobushige tightened his grip on his sword, the blade gleaming ominously, Hakuin uttered words that transcended the physical world. Here open the gates of hell. In that fleeting moment, the samurai perceived a profound message in Hakuin's words. It was not an insult, but a lesson in humility and restraint. The fiery anger that had consumed him just moments ago began to wane, replaced by introspection with measured grace. Nobushigi sheathed his sword and bowed respectfully before Hakuin. In that moment, the gates of hell that had loomed over him began to close, and the flames of his anger receded. Hakuin, now wearing a gentle smile, spoke his final words. Here open the gates of paradise. In that single encounter, the soldier had found not only an answer to his question, but also a path of self-discovery and enlightenment. As he departed from Hakuin's presence, his heart felt lighter and his steps were guided by newfound wisdom. In the tranquil village among the hills of Japan, the timeless lesson of Hakuin continued to echo, a lesson that transcended words and swords, revealing the profound truth that paradise and hell are not distant realms, but states of mind shaped by our own actions and perceptions. Thanks for watching.